All right, guys, here we go. We're going to break down the second macronutrient, very important understanding if you want to become a fat loss master. I know it's a word we get scared of. We think it's going to make us fat, make us, you know, pull a lot of weight on, but actually it's not. You just got to understand how to use it and how much to um, digest or put in your body if you want to become a fat loss master. It is that word called car carbohydrates, all right? Carbohydrates. The first thing I want you to understand on this word carbohydrates is this last word, which is hydrate. Hydrate means what? It means water. So that's why you ever, um, maybe at nighttime, you ate food, carb, pizza, you got on a scale, you gained about two or three pounds. Yeah, so you probably gained about two or three pounds of water. Because carbohydrates, what it's going to do is it's going to really hold on to a lot of water. All right? So I want you to understand that first, okay? It's water weight you're putting on, all right? Not fat all right, as much, but you can. I'll break that down as we go. So once you eat carbohydrates, and again, we have a list of what great carbohydrates you want to eat to make sure we ensure that you have fat loss, right? Not fat gain. Examples, right? So we have your S potato, right? We have your sweet potato, right? And then we also have your beans, right? Then we have your bee rice is what I recommend best. Oh, yes. Don't forget this. We have fruit. Yes, your apples, your bananas, your um, strawberries. Those are carbohydrates, right? All right. You have, of course, your breads. You have your wheats, pasta, so much. Again, we have a long list of carbohydrates. Good carbs. Remember that. We want you to definitely eat, right? All right. And also veggies. Veggies are considered carbs. Yes, I know that. What? Veggies? Yes, all right. Veggies are considered in a family of carbohydrate, carbohydrates, all right? So now what happens, see, once I eat uh, a sweet potato, once I eat maybe beans, all right, it's going to, um, 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 goes down, it's going to break down into sugar, okay? Yes, I said it. It's going to break down into sugar. That is the reason why we would rather have these types because I don't want you to have a carbohydrate, let's say a cookie, that's added sugar. So now you have sugar that's added along with the carbohydrate. That's too much sugar. We don't want that. So it breaks down to sugar, but it's called glycogen. The science word is glycogen. All right, we're going to make it easy. We're going to say break down to sugar. Okay, so now what happens to our body? Two things that happens when you eat or digest this sugar. Okay, two things that happen. Either one, you will burn it. Okay, or you will store it. Okay, store sugar. So let's break down and figure out, okay, if, it's, if we don't have sugar, Terrence, why do we need it? All right, what we need glycogen for is to feed our muscles. Okay, to feed it, not build it. Remember, protein will build it. We're going to feed it. What makes our body go is how we run is our muscles. Our muscles will move joints. So if your muscles don't have glycogen, sugar, which is energy, you're going to feel sluggish. You're not going to have, you know, a great, great workout. Maybe if you have a super, super hard, intense workout, right? So it's going to feed it. But we must be keep in mind of how much glycogen we need. That's very, very important, okay? So when would it happen? When will we burn it? When will we store it? Let's break it down, okay? So you have two ways, okay? The first one is activity, okay? So let's say, right, for breakfast, you have some strawberries for breakfast, right? Maybe some eggs and strawberries, right? You're going to have some sugar. You're going to get some glycogen. And if you're working, getting up, getting down, you're going to use, right, that sugar as energy is going to be burned, right? Or a faster, quicker way to burn through it is exercise, right? So you're going to burn through, you're going to burn through it fast, right? Which is good. That's what you want. We want to have carbohydrates to really give us energy and that energy is going to burn fast. So what? It will not be stored. So let's figure out when we store it. Two ways or two reasons why we store fat, two reasons why we gain um, calories or fat from carbohydrates is one, it's called overloading. Okay, this is huge. This is something that I did a lot. Okay, I used to love pizza. I still do. Still love pizza. Now, I'm not going to stop loving that. All right, but I understand that having balance of how much pizza. I may be having two or three pieces of pizza, not having a whole box like they used to, right? So, overall, so let's break that down, okay? So, let's say, all right, you have, you want to have a whole large pizza to yourself. You hungry at nighttime. I'm super hungry, right? I've been there. I'm not judging, Okay. So this is your muscle. So let's say this is your bicep muscle. What happens is we're going to fill this up, right? Three, three, three slices fill up. We go to four slices fill up. We go to five slices fill up, right? But you ain't stop there. You want more slices. We can't fill this up. It's filled up. 
So what's going to happen is, right, this rest of it, okay, is going to go into our fat. So it might go into your stomach, maybe go into your legs, places that we don't want. Because again, it is filled. Your muscles all over are filled. So that's why we don't want to go over or have an overload of carbs. So it's understand to have a good amount. So what I recommend are to have, uh, you have amounts here. So for, for W, women, I recommend per serving per meal, let's stay between 25 and 40 grams. Okay, that's about a half a cup or a cup of rice, right? That's or maybe beans, half cup, cup of beans. Now, if you don't spend 25, 40 grams, we'll go further, but you can look behind the back of, of your rice, your packages, it'll say how many grams for each serving, uh, whatever that you're eating, right? So 25 for men, yeah, we're a little bigger, we can have more, why? Because we have more muscle, we have more muscle than ladies, so we can what? We can we can take more carbohydrates, right? All right, more glycogen. So for, for men, I recommend, let's say 35 into 50 grams, okay? It's a good range. Okay, that's where you're not overloading. Now, when you're going over 100 grams, 150 grams, what's going to happen? You're not going to be able to use it. Also, the reason why we store it is because of number two is L, which is lack of movement. Okay, so if you're going to work, right, and you sit down all the time, and for breakfast you have two croissants, which then for lunch you go to a restaurant, you have rice, you have beans, you have tortilla wraps, whatever carbs, you're sitting on it. Your body's like, hey, what do you want me to do with this energy? I'm not doing nothing. So your body will say, well, okay, move it to fat because you're not doing nothing. We're overloaded. It's going to go to fat. So that is the reason why you want to make sure, one, you're exercising um, very, very frequently. So if you're eating carbs, you want to burn it. Number two, that's why you want to focus on your, your activity. So walking, I recommend 10,000 steps. This is one of the things that I use. I want to make sure I'm walking, I'm burning energy. So if I'm going to have lunch with carbs, I have a lot of clients during lunchtime. They'll walk around through lunch, walk around the office, the building, because you want to use these carbohydrates or the sugar in that store. Okay? So let's talk about best times and worst times, right? So the best times for us to intake carbs, right, will be, number one, will be after, okay, exercise. Okay, why? Because look at this, you're having carbohydrates, right? You're going to use this muscle, using it. Boom, what happens is, right, after about 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so, use it more. About 30, 45 minutes, it's going more, right? We're going, we're going lower, we're going lower. Now it's, it's getting empty, right? So we can replenish it because we don't want to be, ugh. So yes, it's fine to have carbohydrates. Your intake, 25, 40, or 35, 50, after a workout is a good range, okay? The second Okay, best time is, is waking up. Okay, when you wake up in the morning, okay, waking up in the morning. Okay, why, Terrence? Okay, I recommend, all right, your last meal to not have carbs before bed. All right, I recommend that. Now, can you have it? It's, you know, your goals, how, how aggressive you want to be on being a fat loss master. But let's say you go to sleep, let's say at 10 o'clock at night. Right, so your sleep, remember, RMR we talked about, your rest of metabolism rate, your body is going to use energy to make your breathing, blood circulation, and we're going to be using glycogen. So when you wake up, let's say if you did have some glycogen, your levels might be low, okay? So you have sugar levels that you count, glycogen levels open, so in the morning you eat some um, grits, maybe have some brown rice, maybe I have some healthier Ezekiel breads or maybe wraps. Um, it's fine because, again, not a lot. We have about your, your serving, boom, here. I don't want to overload it. So that's why it's important. You want to make sure that you're not eating a surplus of your carbohydrates. And again, worst time is one before bed. Okay? You don't want to lay in the bed. You watch TV. You know, oh my God, I want to get some chips. Or mm, I want some, some, some donuts, some ho-hos. We don't want that, guys. Okay? Because, again, carbohydrates is going to sit. Your body going to say this. Okay, I got the donuts. What do you want me to do with it? Are you laying down? And going to say, well, you know what? Put that in fat because you're not doing nothing with it. We don't want that. We're trying to be fat loss, not fat gain. Okay, so before bed is the worst time, the worst, worst, worst time to do it. Okay, I'm just sitting, sitting down on it. Okay, also another time I recommend, okay, is after, okay, of, of having cheat meal. 
Okay, we'll talk about that later, right? You have a cheat meal, you don't want to have carbs and carbs after that, no. Because your carbohydrates are cheat meals probably high, so we want to start using those carbs. We don't want to keep on going back to back to back to back to back with carb intake. Because again, it's going to go to what, guys? Fast spillover, which we don't want, okay? So go back, review it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us, okay? But go back, write it down. Um, study this, learn this. Our goal for you about carbohydrates, how I learned, how masters before you learn is that they wanted to learn it good enough to be able to teach it. So this is a recap. Carbohydrates, right? The last word, water. Breaks this breaks down the water, holds water. Okay, glycogen after you eat rice. Okay, it breaks down to sugar. That's another word. All right, two things it's gonna do. It's gonna burn or store. Store or burn. That's what it's gonna do. So you determine what you wanna do with it. So again, exercise activity is how we burn it. How we store it is overloading or having no exercise. Having two or three days with no workout, guys, and you're eating carbs, eating donuts, eating rice, eating pasta, is gonna say, I'm gonna store it, right? Again, you wanna make sure the best times I have it is after a workout or when you work out, when you wake up. Okay, 25, 40 grams for women. All right, 35, 50, again, guesstimates for men. Why we can have more? Sorry, ladies, because we have more muscle, so we can be able to store more glycogen before we have it spill over, which is overload, all right? Again, guys, this is the cover of Carbohydrates. Hope this helped. We'll go to the next macronutrient.